situation with this storm? Sure, the city's been monitoring the storm for a few days now, and right now we're in preparation mode, so we're working with other city agencies and our nonprofit partners to make sure that we're all prepared for the emergency. We've been coordinating a lot today, but the bulk of the coordination will begin tomorrow. And you have a number of uh, agencies in the loop. Can you explain that? Sure. Uh, it's a whole host of city agencies, upwards of 20 agencies, that all have different roles in preparing the city for an event like this and also preparing residents and providing services to residents if, uh, if the hurricane does come to fruition. And how will the public be alerted in case there's some kind of alert? I understand you have an alert system that you guys have put together through social media and other aspects as well. We do. It's important that we're getting the word out. It's, uh, the public can visit our website, which is www.phila.gov slash r-e-a-d-y. It's philid.gov slash ready. On there, there's information about how to stay informed during an emergency. We do have an emergency text alert system. It's called Ready Notify PA. We encourage residents to sign up for that. It's the best way to stay informed during an emergency through both email and text alert communication. And that's free. That's great. Yeah. All right, so when will you make the decision to activate the Office of Emergency, the system, the whole system itself? The whole system. Well, yeah. we're doing work right now, so the system is starting to be activated a little bit. Um, we'll do a briefing with senior leadership tomorrow, and from there we'll have some decisions about whether or not we're going to activate. Um, regardless of whether the city activates, um, we, should, we do not want the public to wait until the city activates to start to begin preparedness. You know, we have some time. The first bands of rain will probably arrive Sunday evening. The bulk of the storm will arrive probably late Monday and Tuesday. So that's plenty of time for people to use the weekend to you know, make sure they have emergency supplies and have a plan out to friends and family and, and know what they're going to do. So we don't want people to wait for the city to be prepared. Thank you, Ms. Folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anything people can do to help you guys out, like, you know, like I said, with the curbs and things like that? Yeah, so um, I think that the best thing that people can do is, again, to be prepared. And, you know, when flooding, we have, have, have experience with flooding in the city of Philadelphia. And, you know, people should be proactive about evacuating their homes. And, and seeking shelter with friends and family temporarily if they live in a flood-prone area and if they know that their home is, has experienced flooding in the past. Um, I know that our partners in the water department actively clean inlets, um, but you know, looking out for friends and neighbors and, and sort of helping out with that is really appreciated.